want to have you fully covered. So we're starting off tonight with our Kayla Gaskin. She's covering former Governor Terry McAuliffe's campaign and joins us live from McLean. Kayla. That's right. We're here at the Hilton Hotel in McLean, Virginia. This is where the McAuliffe campaign launch party is going on right now. The energy is here. The room gets more crowded by the second. We are keeping a very close eye on those poll numbers. According to the Virginia Public Action Project, who tracks voting, we've got about 60% of the Election Day precincts reporting and about 21% of early votes. At this point, they have Youngkin at 55%, McAuliffe at 43%, and then they have Winsome Sears at 56%, and Ayala at 43%. We just spoke with uh, Senator Mark Warner, and he said it's still early to tell. He says he's not worried at this point in the race, pointing to his own election last year when it looked like his Republican. Uh, Challenger was up ahead of him in the early voting, and then the Democrat votes pushed through. So he pointed to his own experience as to why he's not worried just, just yet. But we are keeping a very close eye on those numbers. And Senator Warner also said that they have to get things done in Washington, and that is affecting the election out here. He said they need to push the infrastructure bill through. They need to push the spending bill through, and that they need to do a better job of laying the case out to the American people for people to understand what those bills are. And if they're able to successfully come together in Washington to do that, he thinks Democrats will have a, an easier time uh, than McAuliffe seems to be having in this race here in Virginia. Again, we are keeping a very close eye on those numbers. We do expect Terry McAuliffe to speak out here at some point this evening. I'll be sure to take that live for you on Wavy.com. Live in McLean, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.